Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to the video. Now the vehicle sitting behind me today is a 2004 Pontiac Grand Am that the owner is planning to sell, but before that can happen, there is a ton of work to do. All right, well, taking a look at the exterior of this car and to be blunt, it's pretty filthy all over is there's a solid layer of dirt here. The wheels and tires are a nice shade of brown and really the whole car just looks like it's been hammered by wet and mucky roads. Moving inside now, and this is where it gets interesting, as there aren't too many people out there who would want to buy a vehicle when it looks like this. The carpets are downright disgusting, and a perfect example of what happens when you don't have floor mats. The seats aren't looking a whole lot better, and then the trunk is packing quite a mess too. But just before I dive into reviving this car, take a second and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you never miss out on one of these epic transformations. I post a new one like this every week. Okay, well you've seen what I'm dealing with today, so you know I've definitely got my work cut out for me with those carpets. So as always guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy the transformation. Alright guys, well getting to work on the Grand Am now, and as I cut through all this dirt with the pressure washer, it almost feels as if I'm uncovering a diamond in the rough here with each pass as it's starting to look better and better as I go. So make sure you stick around until the end of the video to see how good this car looks, but also to catch the owner's reaction, which is not only fantastic, but she might be having second thoughts about selling the car now. Now as I spray out the rear wheel well here, you'll notice there's a fair bit of rust around the car, which honestly isn't surprising as it is 18 years old. So I'm definitely going to be careful around those spots with the pressure washer and when I wash the vehicle in a little bit, because as you guys know, no matter what the vehicle looks like, I always treat them as if they were my own. Now one area that can be easily forgotten is the door jams, but the simplest way to take care of them is with the pressure washer, spraying at a steep angle to avoid any back spray going in the vehicle, which is entirely possible, as you can see here.
Okay, it's time for the foam bath now, and for that I'm using my Detail Geek Mega Foam, which produces thick and luxurious suds to cover the car with, and after doing this, I'll go around with my Boar's Hair Detail Brush to agitate around all the trim and crevices to ensure I don't miss any trapped or hiding dirt. Okay, now to dry this Grand Am off, I'm using my best-selling Detail Geek Ultra Plush drying towel, which I personally think is the best drying towel on the market. Not only can it soak up a ton of water, but with the double stitch design that I went with, it's just a super nice towel to use and will outperform anything else out there. Be sure to give them a look on my website at detailgeekautocare.com. All right, getting the car pulled back into the garage after cleaning the trunk liner, and the first step here is to disconnect the battery so I avoid any issue with airbags or the vehicle throwing a code, and then I'll unbolt the seats and remove them from the vehicle. And the one nice thing about working on older vehicles like this is that dismantling things is usually pretty straightforward, so with the seats out, I'll get to work removing the garbage and personal items, and we'll pick up all the loose change to return to the owner with the vehicle when I'm done. Now since the back seat is also only held in by two clips, I'll also get that removed and just like the carpets, it's pretty nasty underneath there. Okay, starting in the back now, and it's time for this week's members question, which comes from Joel, who asks, have you ever said a vehicle was too dirty and turned someone down? Now, I'll start by saying that this is a question I see asked all the time, and to be honest, no, I haven't turned anyone down yet. I've done some incredibly dirty and nasty vehicles, as you guys have seen, and if you've watched the videos, I can pretty well always get them looking new again, or at least 90% of the way there. So while there likely is a line where I would say there's no point in me trying, I do think it's quite a bit worse than what you've seen me do thus far.
Moving to the driver's footwell now, and just like the Pontiac Torrent from last week, the carpet in this Grand Am is pretty good quality, which is always nice to work on as I don't have to struggle to get the dirt and debris sucked out. Plus, it should also mean that the stains are able to be lifted out easier as well when I extract the carpets in a little bit. Now since I've got the back seat cushion removed, I'll also go around with my detail brush and ensure I've got all the loose debris from around the seat belts vacuumed up, which there was a surprising amount of, and obviously this is an area that no one would ever know if I cleaned or not, but I personally could never cut corners like that as I always strive for perfection in my details. Alright, well getting to work on extracting the seats now and after spraying on some carpet solution, I'm using my green drill brush to agitate as based on the level of grime in the carpets, I think it's a safe bet the seats are really dirty too and will need the extra agitating ability the green brush offers and as I make the first few passes, it's pretty clear that's the case here. Okay, starting on the back seat now, and as I've explained in previous videos, for areas like the gum stuck on this section of the seat, obviously the drill brush isn't going to be able to get that loosened up, so I already know this is one spot I'll have to come back to when I've got the steamer out later on, though it shouldn't have any issue taking care of that.
Now for those of you out there who watch my videos and wonder what products or tools I'm using to transform these vehicles, well I have nearly everything listed down in the description for you with handy links right to the products. So if it's the carpet cleaner, extractor or wheel and tire cleaner you're after, be sure to check out the description and give them a look. Moving to the driver's side now where there's some pretty nasty colors coming up, I wanted to give you a heads up that episode 7 of the Studio Build series is coming in a couple days on April 5th and will feature the studio floor being coated with a poly aspartic coating. It's an incredibly cool process to watch and the floor turned out absolutely amazing so be sure to watch out for that one over on the second channel, The Detail Geek 2 on Tuesday. Here's the bucket and a half full of absolutely disgusting water pulled from the Grand Am today. Gross.
starting on these dirty petals now and I'm first spraying on some Detail Geek All Purpose Cleaner diluted 4 to 1 and will then hit them with the brass brush attachment on the steamer which has no trouble getting into the tight grooves of the petals and blasting out all the caked on dirt and then I'll simply just wipe them clean with a microfiber towel. Now for that gum stuck to the back seat you saw earlier, I'm going ahead and using the steamer to blast off what I can, and for what's left over, I'll throw the smaller brush attachment on, agitate it a little bit, and then simply wipe it off with a microfiber towel. Second last step now is to clean all the glass and as I've said before, the secret to streak free glass is using a waffle weave towel coupled with a quality glass cleaner that can cut through any film and crud on the glass and if you're like me and enjoy taking advantage of bundle savings, you can save some money and buy the towels and glass cleaner together at detailgeekautocare.com so if you struggle with streak free glass, I'd highly recommend giving it a look.
Hey. Oh, wow. Come on in. Oh my what? gosh, look at the rims. They look like rims. <laughs> yeah, it's looking good now, right? Wow. Wow. I've never seen it this. Yeah, we have to look inside, obviously. That's where most of the work was. Yeah. So. yeah. Oh, wow. It is so clean and it smells great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my boy's gonna be like, what happened to the car? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Look at this thing. You sure you want to stop now? <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. Maybe That's I'll drive great. it some more. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, I'll uh, thank give you that. You. Yeah, enjoy. Awesome. Okay. All right, guys. Well, in what feels like a speedy nine hours later, the Pontiac is all cleaned up and it's looking spectacular. And I can guarantee that the owner is going to get top dollar for it when she sells it. Now, if you guys enjoyed watching this transformation, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on a future video. Enjoy the guitar outro, and I'll see you guys in the next one.